hey beautiful people it's your girl zainab i am a wedding and a lifestyle blogger if you are a new subscriber thank you so much you're very very welcome and if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for coming back so without any further talking too much let me just get straight into the business of the day so today um is the day six of the big brother niger double wahala reunion and i for one thought that okay no more drama we've seen it all what more can we get to see again but all of a sudden we just saw that ifu and anika you know from nowhere just came into the picture is it that these people are acting for us i don't know is it that you know there's a script they are following but anyways that's a story for another day so for this um for this for today's episode we saw that you know from nowhere anika just started saying that you know she was all emotional and stuff after um alex came back because cc actually went to you know to meet alex to come she went to tell her to come into you know to come back to the show and when alex came back she straight she went um to cc's seat to kind of hug her and it was so so emotional and yeah so beautiful to watch so anyway in all that mushy mushiness and emotional you know atmosphere Anika was still crying, like she was still very, very emotional. So Ebuka asked her um, a certain question and, you know, she started and started saying, you know, she's all for true friendship. She doesn't want any fake friendship and she doesn't have the strength, she doesn't have the energy for, you know, for fake friendship. If they really want to be friends, they need to, you know, it needs to be genuine and, you know, sincere as well, which is very, very important. No fake friendship. It's not that we'll be friends here and we'll go out, you know, start backstabbing each other so um and anika was still you know still talking and she kind of pointed out the fact that you know ifu was always trying to sabotage anything or any idea that you know she brings to the group so if now the hot-headed um, person she is you know fired back like almost immediately that you know it is anika that is trying to take her ideas so that's how the fight started oh, anika got up is it that she wanted to go and beat um ifu I don't understand. If Utsu got up, you know, they started talking at they started talking to each other, shouting, people were holding Anika, people were holding Ifu, you know, Ebuka even tried to kind of separate them, but these girls you know agree. Ifu was already she was ready for fight. Ifu was already ready for fight then. She removed her shoes sharp sharp. You know, but Ebuka just tried to kind of calm down ca calmed um them and um the heat kind of calmed down a bit. So Ebukasha said that he is really disappointed in them and that, you know, they were if we especially was, you know, all about um trying to resolve certain things, trying to resolve their differences and she's coming on to, you know, national TV um to kind of display this kind of behavior. And he also expressed, you know, disappointment in Anika as well. Anyways, the two of them shall apologize to Ebuka and, you know, their their housemates, the other housemates as well. So another gist from the day six is the fact that Ebuka tried to, um, you know, ask Bam Bam why people felt she was fake and if she was really fake in the house. Um, Bam Bam was, you know, definitely she would defend herself now. She tried to, you know, she said that it was quite unfair for them to kind of judge her as, you know, um, fake and that she wasn't, she wasn't fake. And if she was actually fake in the house, her behavior you know throughout the whole um house and throughout the whole competition was consistent and if she was actually fake there would have been you know inconsistency inconsistencies you know in her behavior so she kind of said that she wasn't fake and all of that and alex now you know raised her hand and said that that she too she perceived um bam bam as fake because bam bam was always um, very very conscious of the camera um, anytime the camera is around she wouldn't um, say what you know what she has to say and you know she also admitted to the fact that she influenced Toby into seeing you know Bam Bam as fake Alex Alex so anyways Bam Bam she said that it was quite unfair for Alex and the other housemates to see her as fake and you know they shouldn't have judged her as fake because it kind of lowered her self-esteem and probably jeopardized her her stay in the house so finally, Sissy Shah said that she loves all of them and, you know, she wants the best for everybody in the group and that she too, she doesn't want any fake friendship, that if they really want to be friends, that they should act as friends and they shouldn't go to, you know, 
go to go to another person's back and start saying you know bad things about somebody else that they should you know really act as friends if they say they are friends so another gist is hmm bam bam also said that she kind of felt insecure with um alex around um teddy a that she was a jealous girlfriend she actually called herself a jealous girlfriend <laughs> So anyways, I think I have come to the end of today's um, episode. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please try to subscribe. It is completely free. No money. Nothing. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. I would keep you guys definitely posted. I would, you know, like I said, this is a, this is a, this is a series. So definitely I will keep you guys posted. You guys that don't get to watch Big Brother Niger or if you still want more gist. I would keep you guys posted so yes i'll see you guys in my next video bye